Hi, I'm Ravant. This is part 20 of a web services video series. In this session, we will discuss testing web service using SOAP UI tool. Important synopsis we will discuss in this video are calling Ravant web service for testing and create a workspace project in SOAP UI tool for testing the web service. So let's begin the tutorial. If you haven't watched the previous videos, I strongly recommend to watch before proceeding this video. In previous videos like part 17, part 18 and part 19, I have discussed deploying web service in IIS using Visual Studio and in a hosting server. Testing web service using SOAP UI tool. When we look here, this is a web service, ravanthwebservice.somi.com slash service.asmx file. Here in left hand side, there is a SOAP UI tool in which I have created the web service workspace project and a test suite and the test case. So let's we look in action how to test with the SOAP UI tool, the web service. Let's flip to SOAP UI tool. Now let's create new workspace. Enter the workspace name. Now right click on the web service workspace and create new SOAP project. Give the project name. Give the visual document. Click on OK button. The methods in the web service and uh, this service will get generated. Now right click on the request one and add to test case. Give the test name. Now let's double click on the get array request one that will open the window. This is the request in which we submit to the server that will generate the response and uh, display in this panel. So let's run the project. So the service has written this response. So this is a soap envelope. This is a body and this is the response and in request this is a soap envelope this is a header and within the body we are sending the request now let's create one more test step let's create a test case within web service test suite we are creating one more test case so we are adding the test step like hello request one we will discuss more details about uh, what is workspace work project uh, and a test suit and a test case in the latter video sessions for now let's understand we send the request and we get the response from the soap ui tool so here this is the request in which we get the response by passing the parameter name. Let's pass parameter name has Ravant. So the service should return hello Ravant by concatenating the string with hello with Ravant. 
So let's run the project and quickly check the response. So the service has uh, written the response as expected, like "Hello, Ravant." We will discuss more features of this SOAP UI tool in the latter video sections in a SOAP UI tutorial. In next tutorial, we will discuss testing web service using Fiddler tool. Thanks for watching. For references and resources, visit these links. and subscribe to my youtube channel for email alerts thank you